Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 23 tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A23 right here. And this is going to be a really helpful video for people who have this device and want to go through some of the features that this thing does have to offer. So make sure you guys stay locked in to the end of the video because I'm going to be going through all 23 tips and tricks with you and walking you through step by step so you guys can get a hold and grasp every single tip and, and hidden feature on this device, okay? So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video, but I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new to the channel, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. <music> So let's just jump into the first tip for the Samsung Galaxy A23, okay? And we're gonna jump through all of these features together so um, you guys can understand them. So the first one is gonna be how to turn on the vibration for the keyboard, right? Because a lot of people use this thing for typing and stuff like that, okay? So let's say you just wanna go into um, a text message and when you type, you wanna have the keyboard um, not only have a, a vibration, but a sound, right? So this is what you're gonna do. You hit the three dots right over here. You follow me? And then right here, you're gonna click the gear icon, which is at the, all the way to the right, right here, okay? All right, so now that we're here, what you wanna do is actually go right here where it says, um, you, you can see right here, if you go down to the bottom, right? You're gonna see swipe, touch, and feedback. So you just wanna hit that, all right? And then after you hit that button, okay, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna type, you're gonna hit the button right here which says touch feedback, okay? So what I did was I put the sound and the vibration on, okay? Because when I took this phone out of the box, it didn't have either of those features on. So if you wanna get the phone to actually vibrate and make a sound while you're typing, so it's a little bit more immersive for the experience of typing, then I would follow um, that feature right there and just go ahead and activate that, all right? So the next feature we're gonna do is the tap to lock and tap to wake, and that's gonna be found inside of settings, right? So just go right here where it says settings, okay? And then what you wanna do after you find settings is just go into advanced features, okay? So now that we've got that squared away, what you wanna do is go right here where it says uh, motions and gestures, okay? So this is where we have the ability to double tap to turn the screen on and double tap to turn the screen off, all right? So basically, once you activate those two features, right here, you're gonna turn these on, one and two. You see that? Okay, so basically now you, when you go back, you could tap anywhere on the screen and it's gonna unlock or, um, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna unlock or lock based on the tapping motion. So I really like that gesture and that feature, okay? So make sure you guys activate that right away. Now the next feature we're gonna be jumping into is the lock screen styles, okay? So you could you have the ability to change the lock screen the way you want it to look, okay? So r right away, you just wanna go down where it says right here, uh, lock screen. So just hit this option right here inside of settings where it says lock screen, all right? And now that you've done that, okay, you just wanna go into the option where it says lock screen style. So now that we've, got, we've gotten into the lock screen, now you can actually change the clock styles right here by clicking clock styles, right? So this is what's gonna be pretty cool. So you could actually, right here, you could see, I could barely see it. So I could change the color of the, the thing to black. Let me just so hit done. So now you can see the, the, the clock is vertical. This one makes it horizontal. You have the vertical one, you have the one all the way to the left. You have the analog clock, and then you have this style. So there's two different analog styles, one with numbers and one with the dots, right? So just change it to the any one you want. I'm gonna put it off to the left right here. And then just keep in mind, you can change the text to any color. I'm gonna make it a dark blue color. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so now we're gonna hit done. And now that's pretty much that, um, the way you can change your clock styles on your lock screen, which is something that I really do um, enjoy to have on this device, okay? So the next thing you wanna do with the Samsung Galaxy A23, right, is a lot of the times you will get robot, robot calls and spam calls on your device. So simply go all the way back to you see the um, messages right here, okay? And then what you wanna do is tap the three dots 
right here on underneath messages and just hit that. And then right, right, right now you're gonna see the option which says spam and blocked, right? So just go ahead and, and hit spam and blocked. I, I think I tapped the wrong one. So just hit spam and blocked after you do that, right? And then after you do that, hit the three dots at the top of the device and click block contacts, right? So now you can actually turn on block unknown and private numbers and then let's say somebody's calling you from a number over and over again just type that number in or you can go to your most recent phone calls right so i could these three numbers i didn't i never i never recognized that so just hit done and then basically it's gonna block those numbers from for more future phone calls so they won't be able to access uh, have access to you at any point in time, right? So I definitely think that's pretty cool But if you're still here comment down below and say I'm still here and in, in the comment section and hashtags I'm still here. So I know you're still rocking with me and kicking it with me, right? But I truly appreciate you for making it this far. Let's jump into the Sixth tip and this is gonna be group apps inside of split screen. Okay, so when you're in split screen there's a feature that's actually pretty cool and you can actually go right here and go to the side notification bar. And you're gonna see I have this app right here, which is Facebook and YouTube, because I use that one a ton, right? So it's automatically gonna take me to YouTube and Facebook. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done, right? So the first thing, let's say you wanna do, instead of Facebook and YouTube, you wanna do Twitter and Amazon Prime and, and, and Amazon Shopping. So click Amazon Shopping, right? So after you do that, you wanna click the um, the Twitter one, okay? So you swipe across and then you drag this guy right here to the bottom, okay? And then you just let it go, right? So after you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the three dots in the middle of the screen, okay? So then after you hit that those three dots in the middle of the screen, you're gonna see the arrows when you click this and the other one on the right, which looks like a floppy disk. So basically what you wanna do is hit this one, all right? hit that option right there, and then it saves it. So now if you go to the side notification panel, you're gonna have that shortcut right here down below, Amazon and Twitter grouped together. Um, so whenever you wanna get out of here, you know what I mean? You could go right here and go back, and then you can go right here again, and you could just automatically have those two apps grouped together simultaneously. So I definitely think that's a really cool, helpful feature if you're the type of person who uses two apps on a regular basis, right? So that's something that's gonna be pretty cool. So the next feature we're gonna jump into is called, you know, um, one-handed mode, okay? Because a lot of people like to use their device with one hand, right? Because um, it makes it a little bit easier to type or even just handle the phone. You, you know, this is a pretty big phone at 6.6 .6 inches, right? So what you want to do is go into the settings option, okay? And then after you go into the settings option, right, you're going to go inside of the, you know, advanced features right here, okay? Um, and then you're going to see the option right here. You want to activate the one-handed mode gesture right here. So you can see if you click it, it's going to give you the ability right here where it says tap the button on the home screen. If you have the this this orientation right here, you would just tap that. But I have the gestures. So what you would do if you have the gestures is just swipe down, right? And now when you swipe when you move it across, you can get to the left if you're a lefty or the right if you're a righty. And when you want to get out of it, um, you can just tap the top. Right, so I think that's something that's really clean on this device. It's just really intuitive how they built that in. It's really a, a good feature if you're the type of person that uses your device with one hand and you want to have a better seamless ease of use when you're using the device. Okay, so the next feature that I think is pretty solid with this device that a lot of other phones like the A12 don't have and even the A13 doesn't have is the Smart View feature. Right, so what basically what you want to do. And um, this is a really cool feature for people who like to share their screen to a, a TV or even share their phone screen to another device. And basically what you want to do is drop down here on the drop down menu and long hold this button where it says smart view. Now after you do that, you're going to wait for your TV to appear on the list of options 
right here. And what it basically does is allow you to mirror your screen to a TV or another device right here. So it gives you those two options, but I have and my TV is actually off at the very moment. You also have some settings right here where you can actually mess around with the aspect ratio to make it wider. But this is gonna be a really useful feature that the A12 was missing and also the A13 from the A series was missing as well. So I really like the fact that they put it on the A23, right? But comment down below and let me know if you use your smart view and if you're gonna use it, you do you do need a smart TV or will share the internet with the same device as your phone. So I think this is gonna be a really clutch feature for a lot of people, okay? All right guys, so the next feature we're gonna do is how to make your phone a little bit louder than it was before from the when you opened it out of the box. So you swipe down right here and you go and long hold the option where it says sound, right? And then what you wanna do is scroll down until you see sound quality and effects right down below, all right? So after you hit that, you wanna actually click custom equalizer right here, and it, it's gonna automatically be at normal, okay? But once you hit custom, you wanna slide all of these to the very top, and what you're gonna notice is that your phone is gonna be a lot more louder than it was before. So this is gonna help you when you're listening to music, watching movies through the speaker of the bottom, the bottom of the phone, which is gonna be really loud. It's also gonna enhance the audio quality, okay? So I just wanted to mention that as well. Now, another feature that's really helpful is the side um, bar, and it's probably not called that. So I'm, let me show you what the, the feature looks like right here on the device. So you go into, um, the option where it says advanced features you should just go ahead and click that okay and then after you click advanced features what you want to do is you want to find the option where it actually gives you the um, I think it's in um, display okay so basically go right here where it says display and then click edge panel right so make, make sure you have this turned on edge panels and then what you want to do after you click edge panels okay is hit edge panels right here right and then you're gonna notice it's gonna give you an option right here where it says panel apps. So just click that, okay? Because when you do click that, you're gonna have not only the regular edit button here for you can toggle the options where you wanna add your apps. You're gonna be able to also um, go right here and add people, smart select, so you could do crop, you could, uh, you know, um, you know, highlight things on your device and crop them, like images, pictures, save it as well and share it right away. You have tasks like microphone, alarm clock, calendar, uh, record, screen sh um, recording, and you have the weather tools and reminders and clipboard. So any of these things that do serve you well, like the weather might be suitable, even the compass, right? I was trying to figure out which way the clouds were coming from when it was about the thunderstorm. So you could you could differentiate east, west, north, and south with that feature automatically with your device. And then you can also turn on the weather. You could also have these tasks right here, such as the alarm clock. And if you wanted to, you could have the people. And if you want to go into the gallery store, they still have a bunch more that you could toggle and mess around with. So I think the edge panel is something that's really clutch because now when you swipe across, swipe one more time, you're gonna get your events, compose, add alarm, video as well, take screenshots and stuff like that. And then you could keep swipe across, get your weather. You swipe one more time, you're gonna get the um, every single option that you chose. So there was the compass, you saw that? So I think that's pretty cool because now you can toggle the compass and it's going to ask you to tilt and rotate your phone back and forth to calibrate that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. You just basically wave your phone like this, like one to three times. Like I'm going to do it four times. And now you can see I have the option to actually find out what direction I'm facing in real time. And that's something that's going to be really clutch with this device. So I definitely think that's a cool feature for the Samsung Galaxy A23. So if you're still here, make sure you take a break, maybe grab a snack or something like that. But we still have about 10 more features to go. So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video because I'm going to be jumping into those right now. But make sure you pause the video, take a break, and I'll get back with you. All right, so now that you're back, let's go ahead and jump into the next feature, which is the notification light inside of accessibility. So basically this phone doesn't have notification light, but you can use the flash on the back or the screen can light up. So let me show you how to get that done. Just go to settings 
right and then you're going to go to accessibility okay because right here down below if you go into accessibility you can just click visual effects right here and you could see right here that it will give you the ability to um you know give you give you some stuff here but if you if you mess around with i think it's right here advanced settings right here and go to flash notification what you want to do is turn on camera flash notification and screen flash notification and you can select the apps that you want to flash when you're getting a notification in but just keep in mind if you do use this in public and someone sees your phone flash they're going to think that you took a picture of them so just be careful of turning that feature on in public right because some somebody might think you're taking a picture of their kid or something and get pissed off at you so just keep that in mind right okay so we're going to jump into the next feature that i definitely think is pretty cool with the samsung galaxy a23 right and this is going to be the side key feature and advanced features and this is going to be really clutch because if you um want the power button to be your camera with a double tap that's pretty cool right but not it's not limited to that so just go down where it says advanced features okay and then what you want to do is find the one that says side key right here all right and then click side key all right and then you what you want to do instead of using it to launch the camera just choose app and what I like to do with this feature is use it as a flashlight, right? Because a lot of the times right here, it's gonna be at the top, the first options, you just click that, make it a flashlight, right? And now when you're in the dark time and the phone is on, off, you could just double tap and find your way through as a flashlight. So that's just really easy to turn that on. I always turn that on on my Samsung Galaxy A devices because maybe in the middle of the night when you have to you know um move your bowels or just go take a bathroom break right you would use that feature to find your way because you don't want to mess up your eyes when you turn on the light if your eyes are sensitive like mine okay so that's something that's another thing that's really cool that i really like about the samsung galaxy a23 okay so the next thing we're going to be talking about is screenshots and advanced features okay so basically what you want to do is go back to advanced features right here and you want to go to the screenshots option because once you go to the screenshots option it's going to give you the ability to hide status bar and also delete shared screenshots but i just like that hide status bar okay because let's say you're scrolling through instagram or meta or something like that and you see something pretty sick right like these earphones from slang right here my, my guy slang has the new momentums right so this is what you would do you would just long hold the power button in the bottom volume rocker and you would take a screenshot right but now you want to click it right down here if you click that you're going to get a long screenshot click it one more time it'll keep going until you make it stop right so then after you want to make it stop you just hit the picture okay and now it says copy to clipboard so now we can open our gallery right and now we can see that we have this thing saved but what's pretty cool is that it's not going to save my notifications at the top where it has all my information like my time you know um information here like the t the battery and the wi-fi is only going to share the whole ex screen so i think that's something that's cool because it's not going to um, put your information in the screenshot only the main information that you were trying to use right so i think that's something that's pretty sick okay so all right if you're still with me um does that make sense so far okay cool so the next feature we're going to jump into is in motions and gestures and advanced features and it's going to be the screen timeout okay so basically what you want to do is go right here where it says settings okay and um well actually um you know what i'm saying you can go right here where it says motions and gestures advanced features and click here and there's going to be other ones besides the double tap to lock there's going to be the lift to wake so let's say you lift your phone it's going to automatically um turn on so once you lift the phone it's going to turn on like this and then you could use your face unlock to open it but i have a camera right in front of me so it's not going to work right but if i put it up to my face like this and then i, I look at it 
it will pr pretty much unlock but right here it says your face doesn't match because i have a hat on so it's not recognizing me with the hat on right but i like the fact that it does wake up every single time you lift it and then you will get a bunch of other features in here like turn over to mute so you could basically if the phone is ringing you could just put it down and it's going to mute the phone automatically you also have the fingerprint gesture right down here which i like to use which will bring down your notification screen automatically which is something that's really helpful for me so those are just a few features inside of motions and gestures that are pretty cool you could it'll alert when people when the phone is picked up your phone will vibrate when you pick it up after missing a phone call or a message so that you are aware of that it'll give you a little vibration feedback to it which is something that i think is pretty helpful right so that's pretty much uh, another feature we're going to jump into the next feature but you follow if you're still locked in with me make sure you say locked in and i'm still here down below but probably take another break right because we're 20 minutes deep into the video okay so the next feature we're going to jump into is inside of the device care so basically unlock the phone okay all right and then once you click um settings okay you go to device care with the bat where the battery option is device care and battery option what you want to do is click memory right because when you click memory it's going to give you the ability to not only clean your memory out but right here down below it has the ram plus option i have four gigabytes extra of virtual ram that i'm using now and it's what it does is if you um swipe up you're going to notice extremely quick um speeds and more apps will be able to load in the background for you so it speeds up to the, the phone you're gonna have to reset it after you allocate the four ram gigabytes of ram so it's gonna speed up the phone a lot and just make it a little bit zippier for you okay so i definitely think that's a solid feature now we're pretty much at feature number 18 so we have about five more features to go right so i uh, truly appreciate you for staying locked in with me if you made it this far you're an mvp just type hashtag mvp in the comment section so i know you're a real one okay so basically what you want to do for the next feature is go right here where it says um you know what i'm saying you can go into the settings if you want and you, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the option where it says right here, connections. And then what you wanna do is click more advanced features. Um, it's gonna say more connections right here, more connection settings. And then what you wanna do after you click that is click VPN, okay? And what you're gonna do is actually set up the Samsung Max VPN right here. And you can actually have a virtual privacy network installed on your device okay and you can add a profile to it right but if you don't see the samsung max vpn just download go to uh, adguard.com which is the one i always use if i don't have a samsung device right and basically what it's going to do is protect you from you know just get extra security so that you can have more privacy you won't be able to people won't be able to sell your information um, as easy because you have that added virtual protection and it's going to basically block your ip address so that people don't know exactly where you are and the location you are so i think that's something that's really helpful for the samsung galaxy a23 right now this is the feature number 20 right and we're we're almost actually this is 19 and we're almost done so i truly appreciate you if you made it this far so just hit settings right here and go into privacy and what this does is going to actually block your microphone access so if you turn this off your phone won't have the ability to hear what you're saying at any point in time in any app so it's going to disable that but you can always turn that back on and what's pretty cool is if you go across right here inside of the the main menu when the drop down menu if you go to the plus sign right here you will probably see that somewhere um inside of here so right here it's microphone access and you could just toggle that on or off really easy you could turn that off from your notification screen so they make it a lot easier to protect your um, yourself when you're the microphone, what it can do and what it can't do when you turn that off. So I think that's something that's pretty sick as well. So 
the next feature is going to be um, pretty cool it's called music share so let's say you have some samsung buds and you're listening to music and you hear something pretty sick you and, and there's another person that you want to listen to the music and you want to share it so they can listen to it as well you will go to this one where it says media output okay and just click that and then what you want to do is just click this option where it says music share then it says right here that you can play music and um, on your friend's Bluetooth speaker or headphones. If you and a friend both have Galaxy Buds, you can listen to the music together. So well, number one, you would both need Samsung Galaxy Buds. And number two, they would be able to listen to what you're listening to. You would just be like, Let's, let me share it with you. And then they can share it. So the ecosystem is pretty sick with the Galaxy Buds and the Galaxy phones. That's something that they have built in where you can share a song so the other person can hear it without giving them your headphones if they have the buds and you have the buds i think that's going to be pretty sick okay so the next feature we're going to jump into is called motions smoothness on this guy and basically what you want to go and head and do is if you want to go ahead and go to the settings go to the display go to right here where it says motion smoothness and it says adaptive so you want to turn that on but just keep in mind if you turn that off you will get more battery life right here so if, you, if you're not doing something and the phone is just in your pocket, you might want to turn it on the standard mode. But if you're the type of person like me who just likes that smooth display at all times, I keep that on at all times so that I'm getting that really smooth viewing experience when I'm browsing through my apps and stuff like that. So two more features and then I'm going to get out of here. So the next feature we're going to be jumping into is inside of the sounds and vibrations and this is pretty cool because the phone will vibrate when you get a phone call so just click sounds right here and then what you want to do after you do that right is click sounds and vibrations okay so basically you're going to see something right here where it says um sounds and vibration control right so basically what is what it is is that you're going to see like right here it says systems it's, it's going to add you um like let me show you guys so go back one more time and then basically right here, it's going to be built right in where it says vibrate when ringing. So you just want to turn that on because when the phone is ringing, not only will it ring, it will vibrate as well. So if you don't hear it, let's say you're listening to music, right? You'll feel it in your pocket vibrating. So I think that's something that's pretty cool because if you're the type of person who has headphones in a lot of the time, like me, then you will be able to still feel the phone call or by a notification coming in, okay? When the, the, the phone call. So that's something that's really crazy. So I'm gonna wrap up the video right now um, with this last tip, okay? But make sure you, um, if you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like. But the last tip I'm gonna jump into is, is inside of the sounds and vibrations one more time. And you can easily get to that by just hitting this one where it says sound at the drop down menu. And then what you want to do is actually go to vibration intensity because if you're the type of person who wants to control how good how much the haptics vibrate right here you have access to that so you could just drag this across um, based on the um, intensity that you want it to be at and let's say you want it to be almost at maximum so you could feel every single thing you're doing when you're typing so let's just give that um, a go let me see when is oh yeah this feels good when is the next um mba game so the the vibration on here feels so clean when you increase the vibrations it doesn't feel too um crazy okay so you could turn the notifications on for that and let's see let's just say golden state it's going to notify me golden state the knicks obviously um the nets and then obviously they're playing the Celtics, so I'm gonna just hit that and then click done. But um, the vibration feedback is gonna be so much better depending on if you want more or less, you have the full control over the vibration haptics. But if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure you give it a like button, show your support and appreciation by hitting the bell icon. Make sure you watch another video right after this one if you found this video right here helpful. I have a ton more videos coming up right after this. But if you um, enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button to show your support and appreciation. I truly appreciate you. But I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section, answer all your questions. But in the meantime, make sure you have a great morning afternoon evening and depending on where you are have a great night later crew peace